Namaste everyone and welcome back to my channel Yoga and Me. Today we will learn 5 do's and don'ts for the people who have high blood pressure and those who want to practice yoga. So the first thing what you should not do. I will personally suggest any kind of inversion which will take rush of blood to your head. So headstand, shoulder stand, plow posture. You shouldn't practice and forearm stand, chin stand as well. So it depends on where your blood pressure is. If it shoots too much, then definitely you shouldn't practice inversions. And same thing applies for the people who have heart conditions as well. So inversions, no. Second thing, if you have a really high blood pressure and you want to take forward fold then option for you is that you don't go all the way down and you use your blocks so get two blocks and suppose if you are taking prasarita padottanasana wide legged forward fold so just stand with your feet nice and wide feet parallel or slightly pigeon toes so instead of going all the way down like this use your blocks and stay halfway so that your heart is leveled with your hips and you're not taking your head all the way down. Stay here for how, whichever breath. <coughs> Stay here for five or maybe seven breaths. And then slowly come up. Bend your knees with control. Same thing applies for your standing forward fold or Uttanasana as well. Try not to go all the way down. Rather use your blocks like this with feet hip width apart or maybe take a wall dog hands against the wall and we send the hips back making a right angle with your body against the wall nice and wide well done and now start to lift up and into a seated position next posture is child's posture or balasana so for this one <coughs> i like to do it with <coughs> So the next posture is child's posture or balasana. I like to do it with my knees wider. But if you feel this is not something which is very comfortable to you, then bring your knees hip width apart like this. And your hips should be resting in between your heels. If this is not possible, then use some kind of padding and put it here. So that your hips are completely supported. It's going to reduce the pressure onto your feet. Now take a bolster. Put it in front of you and just fold over to it side to side first dropping the right ear to this bolster it's gonna relax your nervous system your brain and then switch sides after a few breaths when you're done slowly come remove the extra padding for the next stretch which is called virasana or hero posture so how we do it traditionally that we straighten the legs forward and then we bend the right knee take the right foot to the outside of our right hip shifting the weight to the right and then doing the same thing with the left leg as well it's way too much for the knee sometime and the feet as well. So in that case, use the bolster. That's your friend. Sit on this. And we stay here for a few breaths. Sitting tall, try not to round your upper back, maybe hands behind you for some extra length and staying here for 10 breaths at least. All right, last but not the least fast breath yes if you have high blood pressure try not to do anything where you can suffer from breathlessness so soft calm and deep breathing that is something just going to help you throughout so kapal bhati it is not com a complete contraindication in case of high blood pressure but it depends where your high blood pressure is if it is shooting too much then try not to do it at all but if it is under control, then do it very slowly and try not to attain any speed. Rather, what is more beneficial for you is alternate nostril breathing, anulom vilom and humming beak pranayama. And to do this pranayama, the best thing is that you sit in this posture and then do it. Alright, I hope this video turns useful for you. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you in the next video very soon. Till then, bye-bye and take care. Namaste. Mm -hmm.